go. Hey everyone, welcome back to RC Adventures. We have today a British box. Yes, um, from uh, British Candy Box, British Candy Box. Yep. This is from the, the YouTube channel, This... With Them. With Them, yep. Also known as These Guys. Yeah, so it's Kate and Alex. Yep. They do a lot of food reviews, they do some cooking shows, they do some other things too. So um, go over and visit their uh, page. Um, but, I mean, they package it beautifully yes. every month when it comes. So this month, let's see what we have. Put the tissue paper down. And there's big pieces on top, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath. So we've got, um, let's pull out the first one. This is a one pound bag, not weight, not dollar. Not dollar, one quid. Of punchy paprika. And this is from Walker's Chips. Yes. That's a different... I don't know of any U.S. chip that is called paprika. Do you? It not. It wouldn't be that common over here, I don't think. No. Oh, it's a nice uh, ridge, uh, ridged chip. It says Max. I wonder why it's Max. Max ridges, Max flavor. Mm. Oh, yeah. Paprika. Yeah, you can tell. Mm. Is it punchy? Mm-hmm. Nice crunch. Ridge chip. Got a good flavor. I wonder what that's not a flavor here, though. Well, it's not spicy. Max Ridges, Max Flavor. Excellent. I'm going to give that a um, four. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try and alternate some of the... Put them away. All right. Now we have a Galaxy Bar Smooth Caramel. And... It doesn't look like it has nuts or anything like that in it. It's just soft caramel filling. So this is going to be liquid yeah. middle. Oh, sorry. I had it upside down. Galaxy. We don't um, have a lot of caramel bars over here either, do we? I mean, we got like Rolos and... Galaxy is made by the Mars Wrigley Company. Mars Wrigley, okay. Kate and Alex. This with them. BritishCandyBox.co. So there's their card. There's a segment. Was it like a Kit Kat? Oh, no, they're like a Hershey bar segment. Yeah. And it is liquid caramel. Yeah, there's um, the other part. There's two two segments. Mmm. That's real buttery. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. Mm, Very nice. good. Yeah. Very nice. Very smooth. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Yeah. It has two sticks. Yeah. I'm going to finish. We're going to finish this one. That one's good. Mm-hmm. It's smooth. Very creamy. Very buttery. Very buttery. Nice. Chocolate is good. Yeah. Really nice. If we didn't finish that, the caramel would have run all out. And yeah. Made a mess. It's going to get a four as well. I did get two tea bags again. It's a different one this time. This yeah, is Tetley original. It was P and G before. Mm-hmm. So, and I'm drinking a lot of tea again. So, all right. This is a share size, which means we can't eat them all ourselves. These are called pinballs. They look like gumballs, but they're all different colors. I wonder if the colors mean something. Mm. Oh yeah, orange, cherry, apple, raspberry. What does that say? Coke. Cola. Cola and strawberry. It says they're chewy. Step to this. Yeah. Let's take that corner off. I don't want them rolling everywhere. Oh, they're big. I don't know if anybody can see them. I'm afraid they're going to roll. Yeah. No, they're Try one. See how hard they are. <laughs> they're very slick. Are they like jelly beans? They're firm, but they're not hard. Honestly, it does kind of remind me of a jelly bean. Mm. 
It's a little bit more dense like a gumball, like mm -hmm. when you're biting into it. Mmm. Mm. Got a great flavor, though. Mm, nice. It reminds me of something. I just can't think what it is. The way the texture is. Yeah, you can but, see it's kind of got a candy shell. But it got a really good flavor to them. Mm -hmm. It says the full-on chew. No artificial flavors. That's very nice. Yeah, I like that. Tart. It's not icky sweet. It's It's got... It's a, not sour, but it's got yeah. a tartness. Yeah. Okay. That's nice, huh? Yeah. Okay. Vimto Chew Bar. Vimto? Real fruit juice is suitable for vegetarians' natural colors. Show them. I am. Hmm. Maybe like a taffy or something? Yeah, maybe. It says Chew Bar. Yeah, it, feel, yeah, it feels like one of those little taffy sticks. But I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to... Open it up so, like the, so we can see. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Taffy. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that with my teeth yeah. like you can. I'm going to hold off on this. Because <laughs> I'll be chewing that thing for a while. Yeah. But anyway. But that's what it looks like. We'll do Taffy. this one last. All right. Let's try a Wispa Gold. It is a limited edition Cadbury... Wisp of gold with hazelnut. So I'm not sure what makes it a limited edition one. Maybe the hazelnut flavor? Because I don't know what a normal one would be like. Yeah, maybe. Let's see what it looks like. We have to bite off the end so we can see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah. Is it like an arrow bar on the inside? Somewhat. It looks, like an, it looks like an arrow bar with filling on it. So, yay. Oh, it's softer than I thought. Yeah. Mm. That's that's nice. Mm. I like the Cadbury one better. Or the, um, the Galaxy one I thought was yeah. better. But that's still good. This one has more soft chocolate to balance off the caramel, but I can certainly taste the hazelnut. Yeah. And I'm really starting to get used to hazelnut. When I first started trying that, I did not like it at all, but I, I'm either getting accustomed to it or I just had a really bad experience the first time. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. That's good. It's got a weird aftertaste though. Yeah. Let's try something savory again. These are called frisps. It's a frisp, not a crisp. Cheese and onion flavored snacks. I don't see a company name though. Uh, of course, we're not familiar with their companies. Maybe Frisp is in the name of a company. I don't know. Hmm. I don't see like Doritos or Lay's or Ta Whoppers or anything. Tato Snacks. Tato Snacks. Okay. Remember we were talking about this and I was like, it sounds, I wonder if it's like a Tato chip and it, it must be. This is 39p pack, so 39 pence. So here's what the chip looks like. I don't understand what the difference is between frisps and crisps. It's not a chip. It's more of a. Oh, it's like it's a. It's almost like a Pringle. Like a Muncho, yeah. a waved Muncho. The flavor is good. I, the cheese and onion is mm -hmm. nice. It's got a strong flavor, but it's not just a strain. It's not just a straight potato chip. So no. I see what they're saying. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Cheese and onions really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's a four. No, that'll get a three. Yeah. This one's called a timeout wafer. It right. is a 35 calorie um, and a 35p. I like how they put the prices on everything like that. What happens if they change the price in midstream? You just keep paying 35p for this and whatever the next one have. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show them. I just wonder how that works. Oh, it sounds like a Kit Kat. Yeah, it's broken.
Nice. Yeah. I like wafers. You can see the wafers in it. It's four levels. And I don't taste any flavoring or anything. I just taste, taste chocolate and wafer. Mm -hmm. So no hazelnut. Yeah. Nothing else. That's it. I didn't mean for you to eat the rest of it. Okay. <laughs> I won't. All right. Uh, this is a chunky Kit Kat salted caramel popcorn flavor. That's interesting. And it's a 60p. And this is by Nestle. Didn't that say Nestle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nestle. So chunky salted caramel popcorn. They do a lot of Kit Kat flavors, but I've not seen salted caramel here. I mean, uh, Salted, salted caramel, caramel popcorn. popcorn. Yeah, I haven't seen, seen that. that yeah, I haven't seen it either. Salted caramel popcorn. Just regular Kit Kat? No. It tastes like there's like... I've got some popcorn texture mm -hmm. in there. Hmm. I taste the salted caramel. Yeah, nice. I feel the popcorn, but I don't necessarily taste the popcorn. Yeah. I mean, it's it's okay. I'll give that with like a three. That's the still thing my favorite so far has been the Galaxy one. That was such the caramel was so nice in that. So did, you got the salted caramel, but you didn't get the, the just the texture of the popcorn, but not the flavor. No, I got the flavor. Oh, did you? No, but, I got the texture. Well, I mean, I got salted caramel flavor, but I didn't really give it a salted caramel popcorn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did get salted caramel out of that. Nice. All right, so let's um, let's do it. This is a Terry's orange, chocolate orange, white. I'm going to open it from the bottom because I can feel it's all broken. Yeah. Down here at the top, they're not broken. But. Or maybe they're individual pieces. Oh, look at that. No, oh, it's like, um, you can see it's like little orange slices. Yeah, it's broken. It's That's why tear. it wasn't individual okay. slices, so... I do like white chocolate, um, but it look. I got. I mean, there's a lot of detail on this. You can see all the the pith and everything on the orange. I don't think I've ever had cherries. Not white. White chocolate. Mm -hmm. We just finished up a dark chocolate one. A regular orange. It almost tastes like a creamsicle. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. It's got that. Yeah. That's what it tastes like, yeah. It's good. I think we've seen Terry's orange chocolate bars at like Publix. I think they've had the yeah. bars, but not the white one. Yeah. I've never seen a white one. Even at Christmas, I don't I don't recall seeing one of the whole ones. Mm -mm. Maybe it's good. Can. That's what it reminds me of is a is a dream circle. Dream circle. But it does have a lot of that orange essence in it, like mm -hmm. the, the oil and stuff yeah. or whatever. You can taste it or rind or yeah. zest. Or... If you're not familiar with the Dreamsicle bar, it's like an orange sherbet outside with a vanilla inside. Ice cream, yeah. All right. So this one is called Walker's French Fries Worcestershire Sauce Flavor. Flavor Crispy Potato Snack. It has no... Artificial colors, it has less fat, it has, oh, look at them. Uh, yeah. Looks like little shoestrings. Yeah. I mean, shoestring french fries, not shoestrings off of the shoe. Maybe they're less calories because it take you forever to eat them. That's a weird texture, isn't it? Yeah, Worcestershire comes right through. Mm-hmm. A weird texture though. Yeah. Very light, very airy. You could eat them mindlessly while you're watching TV or something. They're that light. Yeah. I like the Worcestershire flavor though. I can't think of anything that we've got that's Worcestershire flavor. Oh, uh, most sure Yeah. It's got a good flavor to it. What? Nothing. No, no, I was just looking at the back of the package. Lots of crispiness is what it says. Flavor crispy potato snack. Yeah. 
It's good. It's not like the potato sticks we have here where it's like a hard thing. This is a very, this is very light, airy. thin. Yeah. It's hollow. But crunchy. Yeah. It's okay. And it's got a good flavor. It's not overwhelming or anything. Yeah, that's so. good. Okay, we have uh, four things left. Oh. <clears throat> These are called Millions. And you can see there's a million little dots in there. We had this in one of our Universal Yums boxes, I believe, or Munch Pack Munch or Pack, something. Yeah. One of them. One of them. And they're, they look like they're just um, like nerds, but they're actually chewy. Mm -hmm. And this one is black currant flavor. I love black currant. But you have to be careful because they will go everywhere if you drop the bag. Not that I would know that, but. There you go. You can see that they are just little bitty bits of. But they get, they're not, I mean, they're not like the sweet tarts or something. They're actually chewy. They turn into like a, a um, uh, what do you call it? Starburst? Yeah, it's almost like a taffy. Yeah. Oh, that black currant flavor is great. The flavor is nice. Yeah, I love that. They're okay. I put, I folded the thing over. I have to chew it, sorry. So this back box, there's only one size, right? Yes, they yeah. do have some themed, some um, like crisp boxes and candy boxes and some other stuff like that that's more direct. Yeah. Or themed, but. I'm sorry, that's all over my teeth now. This is a recurring monthly box. Mm-hmm, okay. Great flavor, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, black currant's always good. All right, this one is a Nestle uh, coffee toffee crisp, sorry, and it's a 60p bar. And it says, which I think is really cool, is on their packages they actually tell you what it is. Oh, I'm looking at it upside down, and I'm now I'm going to be made a liar because this one doesn't say. Usually it says like a crispy bar filled with caramel or something. So I don't know what this one is. I'm assuming toffee and crisp. I think it's another wafery one. Might be. Got all my chewy stuff in there. Is it that? Mm. No, actually, more like a, it feels like it's got crunchy rice, crunched rice. Oh, it does. And it's got rice on caramel. It. Is that caramel on top? I think so. Mm. I really like that one. I think I like hmm. that one better than the uh, the Galaxy one. That one's really different. Um, mm -hmm. We used to have a candy bar. I don't know if they still make it. That had those little crispy things, and it was called a whatchamacallit. Yeah, they still make that. Oh, they still make that? Mm -hmm. So it's how long I've had one. But the whatchamacallit, it's got that kind of crispiness in there, little balls of crispiness. And then it's got a whole layer of caramel on it. And then it's got all chocolate on it. So that one's really nice. I like that one. <clears throat> all right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. All right, the next one is called... Magic Stars by Milky Way, and there it's a 60p bag. Crunchy Magic Stars. Mm. Assorted milk chocolate pieces, is all it says, okay. So I'm assuming it's just the chocolate. Oh, look at them, aren't they tiny? Oh, wow, they are tiny. I thought they would be bigger than that. Yeah, it looks like they've bloomed. It's got a little smiley face on it. Does it? Mm hmm They have different little okay. faces on them. Hmm. Okay. It tastes like a Milky Way, but... But there's no caramel in it. Yeah, I'm not getting any... It's just solid chocolate. I'm not getting any crispy or anything. It's just like chocolate. You can see it's just... Solid chocolate, but it does taste like a Milky Way. It's chocolate, yeah. Yeah, but it does taste like a milky one. Hmm. Okay. Okay. There's quite a few in there. Yeah. Well, looking at the bag, I thought they were going to be like several larger pieces. Yeah, that's what I thought too. 
They're good though. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how they got it to taste like a milk <laughs> without caramel. All right, last one. This is the one I'm most excited about. <clears throat> I love bridge mix. She loves bridge mix. And Brock's Brick, used to have yeah. a really nice bridge mix, but it's gone. They still make, make it, they, but it's yeah, not the they, same. Yeah, they're starting to make it cheaper, but in all the little balls, there used to be like a, a mint one and a caramel one and um, uh, a cream one, whether it be strawberry cream or whatever, and had nuts and, and all that kind of stuff, but it's mostly peanuts and raisins now, but they do still have other flavors in there. This one says that it has... Um, a lot of different flavors. It has um, it was like orange, orange, raisin, raisin, caramel, caramel Malteser, Malteser, and coffee. Coffee. So I'm very, very excited about it. So it just looks like different flavored balls, and this is the. I don't know if I showed you the package. Rolls. So, oh, there's different shapes too. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got different shapes and, and all that. See if you can show them. <laughs> this one's like a, a mm. flat disc and there's some bigger ones. There's some loppy ones. So, in different sizes. Mm. I wonder if you can tell. I'm just gonna pour them out and see if you can tell. Like, I think these little tiny ones are raisins. I would be very confident. I would think the big one is like a Malteser. Malteser. So. Yep, that's a Malteser, right? Yep. Malteser. I'm going to try this flat one. Caramel. Mm -mm. Just tastes like a chocolate disc. Did you get anything else out of it? Um, just chocolate flavor. That one's a Malteser. This one might be a raisin. I don't know. Malteser? No, I'm not sure we'll be careful it's broken. Okay, I got Orange? Mm-hmm. Orange, yeah. Maybe this little one's a raisin. Oh, I like the orange one. I really want the coffee cream one. Yeah, I think that one's a raisin. A Malteser. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, supposed to be different flavors. They sell this in much larger bags and everything. So, <clears throat> if they had these it's, in the store, I would buy them probably. It's not as much like a bridge mix as I thought it would be. Yeah. It did not say there were any nuts in there, though. Oops, sorry. Yeah, no nuts. Um, They did say they used to have a nut in there, and then they replaced it with raisin or something, didn't they? Yeah, or coconut or... No, yeah. they used to have Oh, the coconut. coconut one. Yeah. Which would be good, too. A coconut cream one. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm very interested in these. I'm going to... Um, fall on the sword and try them all so that I can let you know if any of them were coffee cream because I would be very excited about that. But it's a nice package. This is a Vimto flavored chew made with a secret Vimto flavor. <clears throat> which I'm gonna secret try flavor. Now. I might have to gnaw on it for a bit. Yeah, you might have to gnaw on it a bit. Here, cut it with the scissors. It looks like a tongue. Oh, yeah. So I have hacked off a piece. It smells like bubble gum. That's what I thought the flavor was. The flavor reminds me of bubble yeah, gum. Yeah, it, it absolutely smells like bubble gum. Did it say a, a surprise flavor? Vimto flavor. Vimto flavor. Is Vimto the name of the company? Yeah. Yes. Vimto flavor chew made with a secret Vimto flavor, which apparently is bubble gum. Oh, cool. Because that's what it tastes like. But it's not gum, it's taffy, right? It's taffy. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what was your favorite? Oh, wow. Hmm. I think mine is the Rebel still. Those were good. But I really think that this uh, Toffee Crisp was good. I really like that. All right. What was your worst? Or least, least favorite? Because I don't think anything was the worst. The Chew Bar. The one you're eating? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't try that one, but I'm going to say my least favorite was the... Uh, well, I don't 
think I had a least favorite. But if I had to pick one, I would probably say whatever you're eating because I'm not a taffy. Taffy, I, 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 taffy just sticks to Well, that everything. one and the, the millions. I like the flavor uh, the of them. The flavor of them was great, but the fact, the taffiness of them was just okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not crazy about, I'm was, not a fan of Starburst or taffies and stuff like that. Was there any surprise ones or um, most unusual one? Not really. The pinballs were kind of unusual, but I mean, I thought again, the French fries were kind of unusual. Yeah, I, they weren't what I was expecting because I thought we have potato sticks here and they're just like fried pieces of potato. Um, and I thought those would be like that, but those are actually like processed potato crisp. Yeah, real light, but Worcestershire sauce too. I mean, that's just not a flavor we would put on no, a potato chip here. No, uh, That's probably my least favorite crisp. Um, I like the paprika, then the cheese and onion crisp. And then the french fries. Um, a lot of candy in this one, but that's fine. It was all, I mean, it was all like name brand candy. I yeah. mean, it was it was good. All the candy was good. Um, but I think the toffee crisp was my favorite out of the bunch. I enjoyed that one. Cool. But, I, right. do, but I do really like, or used to like when I was a kid, the whatchamacallit bar. Yeah, the whatchamacallit, yeah. yeah. Now, we do have another box that we started back up. We haven't done it in a while. It's Universal Yums. Yum. Um, but... My family is um, has invited us to join them. They also have Universal Yums. We'll be opening together, trying it, and all that kind of stuff. So, if we ever get it, yeah, we were shipped our first box and it disappeared somewhere. So they've reshipped it, but we haven't received it yet. Yeah, so we'll still do a video on it. It's just some of the package might be open, but I wanted you to be able to see what was in it and that kind of stuff. We'll run through it pretty quickly. Next time we'll tell you how the Tetley tea is. The P and G tea is very nice. Yes, very, very nice. nice. Um, it's it's stronger than our tea here, which I yeah. like. Um, I'm not, uh, yeah, it's just a black tea, but it yeah. smells really good. But I have enjoyed the teas that they've been sending. It's very nice. Well, this is like, the, I think, maybe the third box we've gotten. Mm -hmm. And the first two had P&G, but, I mean, you know, it's it's a black, it's a, it's a black tea. It's yeah, a, it's but it was really bag. good. It was it was a strong black tea, so yeah. it, was, it was nice. Okay. Anyway, that's Thank it. Thank you all for joining. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Love remember, you guys. Bye. Remember, this with them. This with them. British Candy Box. Excellent. Bye. Bye.